Um, I have been an entrepreneur for over 10 years now. I've been self-employed. I have two service businesses currently. I have a septic service. I have a junk removal business. I find huge passion in being able to create my own schedule. I'm a single mom of two little babies, so that's the flexibility is very important to me. Um, a lot of people when we started this junk removal business were like, whoa, first of all, you're two chicks that are starting this junk removal business. Hmm. Oh, we'll see how this goes. And the people love us. Those things, those are things that we've been able to capture some market share on. Um, we've actually had customers tell us that they have Googled woman-owned business and ran across us before. And it's just one little blip that's mentioned into our website, which just sparked like, oh yay, this is something that we could really capitalize on. And we've done really well with that um, in gathering a social following um, with other women entrepreneurs that are in the service business. Um, there's always going to be the doubters out there that tell you you don't belong in this area. Um, I also have a septic business too, which is a way not female owned or operated business. And I love being the person when I walk into a room and they, they're, they're not expecting that. Um, the unexpected is just something that we thrive on and makes us want to grow to be an even bigger business. Yeah, if somebody tells you that you don't belong or that you can't do it, it's up to you. For me, I personally take that as a challenge to prove them wrong. Um, it, you can do anything that you put your mind to. It's, it, you never fail unless you quit.